Hello and welcome to a video tutorial showing you how to add drop shadows and reflections to images in Google Drawings. My name is Tyler Osborne. So to add a drop shadow, um, first you have to create the image itself. So you can either import an image or you can use one that you've created. I'm going to use this ice cream cone that I created in a previous um, demonstration. So I'm going to click on the ice cream cone and you'll notice that the formatting bar here at the top changes and there's a whole bunch of different options now. The one that you want is called format options and it's all the way off to the right hand side. So I'm going to click on that. When I click on that, I got these two new menu options here and there's drop shadow and reflection. So let's try clicking on drop shadow. Now you'll notice when I click off of my image that there's a bit of a shadow around the outside of the cone. It might be a little bit hard to see, so we can actually format it by clicking on the image again and going into the uh, little triangle on the side. And you can increase the blur radius if you want. You can um, make the transparency less or more. You can change the color of your shadow. So if I wanted a blue shadow, I could do that. So you can almost make it look like it's glowing. You can change the angle of the shadow so that as if the, um, the light source is in a different spot. And uh, those are your different options. So I don't really like my shadow here. I'm going to try the other one now. So I'm going to get rid of the drop shadow. And now I'm going to go into reflection. So if I want a reflection, you'll notice that it reflects each part of my image. So when you have a multi-layered image like I do right here, it's not always the best ideal, but it kind of looks like you're um, having this ice cream cone on the side of uh, a lake and you can see the reflection. So sometimes the images that you draw yourself aren't necessarily the best options for the drop shadow and the reflection, but it might work for you. Let's take a look at an image that we import. So I'm going to move this out of the way and let's import an image. So I'm going to click the image icon and the triangle on the side and then we'll search for the web. And let's search up something. Um, maybe I'm going to search up a turtle. And I like this turtle right here. So I'm going to insert it. And he's a little bit big, so I'm going to move him a little bit. Okay, now this works just like the um, ice cream cone. The format bar is empty right now. I need to click on the image and then I have format options all the way on the right. If you're working on a small screen, you might have to click some arrows to expand the menu to see everything, but it's format options. So click on the format options. And now we have more options than we had last time. Last time we were creating with an image that we created. This time we're going to be working with a um, image that we imported. So you actually have some, some photographic um, editing abilities. So let's go into recolor and you can see that you can make this a whole bunch of different colors. So if you wanted to make it look like it's swimming through polluted water, maybe you could turn it into a, a greenish yellow, or if you wanted it black and white, or sorry, that's a negative. That's not black and white. You could do that too. I'm going to go with no recolor though. Let's take a look at the adjustments that you can make. These are some photo editing ones. So you can make the image a little slightly transparent so you can actually see through it a bit. You can increase the brightness or darkness of the photo. Oh, that's hard to look at. <laughs> you can do the contrast. So increasing or decreasing contrast. There we go. And you can even reset it to the original. So I'm not gonna change anything there, but let's take a look at the drop shadow. So when I put the drop shadow on, let's so increase my blur radius here in the distance. There we go. So you can see the drop shadow a bit better. I want you to notice that the drop shadow only goes around the photo itself. It doesn't go around the turtle. So it's just something to be aware of. You might want that photo to really pop off the page. That's when you're going to use a shadow. But um, it doesn't go around the inside, interior image. So even if I had a, an image with a white background, so there was a turtle there that had a white background, it's going to go around the white box that's around the turtle, not the turtle itself. So that's the drop shadow. Let's try the reflection now. So this is kind of cool. It kind of makes it look like it's um, sitting on the edge of a, a pond. And I've seen this uh, particular thing a lot in uh, Apple Keynotes. Um, this is a very popular feature in Apple Keynotes. So it's nice to have it here in Google Slides. So you can increase the transparency of that reflection so it's not so bright. You can increase the distance away. And you can increase the size of the reflection if that's something that you want to do. So those are the um, drop shadow and, and uh, reflection options in Google, uh, Google Drawings, yes, in Google Drawings. Um, if you have any uh, feedback for this particular uh, tutorial, other than the fact that I say ah a lot, uh, please leave a comment in the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.